Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear. Sorry there's so much light on uh, one side of my face. Uh, unfortunately, there's no light on the far end of my hotel room here. I'm, I'm in, in case you haven't been watching, I'm taking a vacation in Copenhagen. I had a really good time, but had a very busy day today. I was out until 8 o'clock. I got a little bit lost coming home. Finally took a taxi back to my my hotel but here I am I'm making another video and um, anyway I'm up to song number 2765 on my list of my personal top 3000 songs of the rock era and that one is Ride My Seesaw by the Moody Blues this was released in 1968 it was a uh, it was a minor hit single um, yeah, I think it went to number 59 something like that um, but it was also released on their album called In Search of the Lost Chord, which also came out that year, 1968. Pretty trippy um, cover, <laughs> if you ask me. But anyway, uh, uh, I think I'm first going to talk about the history of the Moody Blues. Here's a picture of them early on. They were a very successful British uh, progressive rock band. They They got started in 1964 in... Birmingham, England, and they, they were together two times. First, they were together from 64 to 74. Then they broke up, but then they got back together in 77, and they stayed together uh, till 2018. So they kind of had two runs, and they were both they were successful on both runs, which is kind of unusual. I guess they had a really big comeback in the late 70s and, and 80s. I'll get into that. So, so I want to go over what their hits were. Uh, their first hit in 1964 was Go Now, um, and that was number 10 in the U.S., number 1 in the U.K. Um, I guess they started out a lot more popular in the U.K. Uh, and then in 67, they had um, what became their biggest hit, uh, A Nights in White Satin. That, that reached number 19 originally in 1967 in the U.K. In the U.S.A., it only went to 103. It bubbled under the hot 100. Uh, but it was released on a very popular album, probably their most popular album, Days of Future Past. Um, I, I used to own that album, really excellent album, one of the first concept albums of all time. Um, and then uh, 68, they had Tuesday Afternoon, which was also featured on that album. That one actually didn't hit in the UK. I'm not sure why, maybe it wasn't released as a single there. But in the USA, it went to number 24. Uh, and then uh, later that year, they have the song I'm featuring today, my Ride My Seesaw. That went to actually was 61 in the USA uh, and 42 in the UK. Uh, and then uh, 69, they had uh, Never Comes a Day, which went to number 91 in the USA. Um, didn't chart in the UK. 1970, they had Question, which went to number 21 in the USA and number 2 in the UK. In 71, they had uh, The Story in Your Eyes, which went to number 23 in the USA and didn't chart in the UK. Uh, 72, they had Isn't Life Strange, which went to number 29 in the USA, number 13 in the UK. Uh, 72, they had another release of Nights in White Satin. This became their biggest hit in the USA, went to number 2. In uh, England, it, it charted again, went to number 19. Um... And then in 73, they had I'm Just a Singer in a Rock and Roll Band, which went to number 12 in the USA and number 36 in the UK. In 1978, this was their second run. I guess they had a big hiatus because they weren't together for three years. But 78, they had their next hit, Step in a Slide Zone, which went to number 39 in the USA, didn't chart in the UK. Then they had Driftwood, which went to number 59 in the USA, didn't chart in the UK. In 81, they had Gemini Dream, which went to number 12 in the USA. Again, didn't chart in the UK. I guess it took them a while to, to, to uh, become successful again in the UK on their second run. I'm not sure why. And then later, 81, they had The Voice, which went to number 15 in the USA. Didn't chart in the UK. And then finally, they had Talking Out of Turn, which went to number 65 in the USA. Again, didn't chart in the UK. But then finally, 83, they had a song called uh, Blue World, which went to number 62 in the USA, did chart, went to number 35 in the UK. And then they had Sitting at the Wheel, which went to number 27 in the USA, number 91 in the UK. 
And then 1986, they had their biggest comeback single, uh, another top 10. I think they only had three top 10s altogether. This was the last one. It was called Your Wildest Dreams. That went to number nine in the USA, but didn't chart in the UK. And then later that year, they had The Other Side of Life, which went to number 58 in the USA and didn't chart in the UK. Finally, 1988, they had I Know You're Out There Somewhere, which went to number 30 in the USA and number 52 in the UK. So those were their hits. Uh, uh, like I said, very successful band and um, one of my favorites, too. And... Um, I don't know. Do I do I have anything to say about the song uh, "Ride My Seesaw"? I don't know. I like it. It's a little bit of a strange song. I guess it's kind of one of those psychedelic sort of trippy songs. But you know, it's a little funny. Ride my seesaw like they're taking some psychedelic trip. I think they're riding a starship rather than a simple seesaw. But I guess that's what they like to imagine. So anyway. I guess that's enough said about Ride My Seesaw by the Moody Blues. Anyway, I do think it's a really good song. That's why I'm featuring it. And that concludes my uh, feature on Ride My Seesaw by the Moody Blues. So thank you for watching. You guys rock, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>